everyone. So I um, kind of have a question for you all in this video and then just a little um, idea update. I told you once I got my kit for Paul Metro I would do a video and I did do the video but I didn't like the quality and I don't take everything home so and I don't so like I don't use the men's um, razor like the shaver for the, I can't think of the name electrical shaver for their head. I don't use that um, right away so that's my locker. So I won't have that to show you. I have so many books and DVDs um, and just things with Paul Mitchell. I'm not going to go into detail with that. I will go over and do another video of my brushes. brushes. Um, that way I can have the list again I had and uh, kind of get the names of the brushes and stuff down for you guys. Because um, last one I was just like, here, look. But I didn't give you a name, so if you wanted to go out to say Sally's and get it, you could, but I didn't give you a name. Um, so, I'm going to do that. Redo that. I haven't got my makeup in yet, and my actual scissors, cutting scissors, I don't get until I get a cutting license. Um, so, I don't know if they keep hold of that, or I get the license once I pass core and the teacher has to sign off on it. So, I won't be able to show you the shears, but I can show you all my clips. Uh, combs, brushes, my hair dryer, blow dryer. That's the same thing. Hair dryer, was the, oh, flat iron and curling iron. Um, and stuff like that. Um, and maybe some of the books and um, DVDs I got because I have some on me. And then I can show you my mannequin head. That's kind of messy right now. And I can show you my, because I got two mannequin heads. They're both the same one. And then I got a stand. So, um, I might try to film that a little later if I'm feeling up to it and then just kind of add it into this one or, I mean, add it into it, make another video of it. Um, but I don't know when I'll get to that. But I did promise it to you guys and I did have one up, but it was really crappy and, um, school's just been running me ragged. We're going over so much stuff in, like, such little time. It's ridiculous. So, people that think cosmetology is easy, by the way, and, like, hair is easy no like I know people think oh it's just beauty just cut your hair and just, there's so much that is behind the scenes of hair it's ridiculous so um I'll get that excuse me I'll get that up for you today and then um the next thing is I had nail ideas like for nail design ideas because I got some more spindles for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and winter. Um, some of the colors I don't have yet, and I do plan on getting. Um, like I plan on getting an orange, a red, a white, a light blue, and a glow in the dark one. I'm gonna ask my da uh, dad if he could do it for me. Um, get me some of those, col those colors. I might just get the, like the cheap ones I can find. And um, if I can get like a discount on like OPI or something, maybe I'll, I'll grab some in, the, in that kind. But I don't have an orange. I don't have a big red, and I don't have like an actual white white. The other white I used was kind of like pearlescent. Um, I don't have a lighter blue because I want to use that for snowflakes and I, I thought glow in the dark nails would be cool for Thanksgiving and just kind of show you how it looks so that way you can also apply it to any of the white colors I use. You can just substitute glow in the dark nail for that um, or any you know Halloween one whatever you want to do. So these are really really bad <laughs> doodles but they're just quick doodles I when I jot down an idea that I think I like um, I'm gonna show them to you guys real quick and I want you guys to tell me if you like the idea now like I said these are doodles and I'm gonna try to figure out how to actually transfer it onto the nail first um, so I might not I might not be able to do all these ideas so I kind of want you guys to tell me which Thanksgiving nail you like the best which two Christmas nails you like the best best, and what two winter nails you like the best. So one Thanksgiving, two Christmas, and two winter nails you like the best. So that I'll make sure to practice um, the majority, whatever the uh, majority road is, I'll make sure I practice those five for you guys and then I'll try to add extra in. So if there's one that I'm having really difficulty doing and it, it's harder than it looks, then I won't do that one, and I'll make sure it's not one of the ones that you want me to do. That way, um, it doesn't take me forever to get these videos done for you. So, for Thanksgiving, I was thinking the background could just be like a, a red or an orange color, and then you can just do the head of a turkey with like two black eyes, a yellow beak, and a little 
I don't know what you call that thing, the little thing that hangs next to the beak. The next thing was just like a, um, what I put as a background? Have like a brown background with like little red dots to represent cranberries with like a little green or tan top. Have like a bunch of little cranberries on your nails. Um, I don't know how that would look, so that's what that idea is. Um, a little pilgrim hat is another idea. And then just taking the background and making it brown. And then if I can get orange, which is not a promise, if I can get orange, do a yellow, orange, and red stripe on the nail for Thanksgiving. Like different patterns. <laughs> so tell me which one of those Thanksgiving nails you like the best and I'll practice it. Um, or you can suggest another nail idea for Thanksgiving. Um, and if everyone else reads that comment likes that better, that could be the top comment and I'll try to come up with something for that as well. Um, next is the Christmas nails. <sighs> See my drawings? I do think of stuff to do for you guys so I'm not slacking I just I mean I'm not like forgetting about you guys but I am trying I see about doing like a little string of lights on some nails uh, a present nail that looks like that or making your nail look like a present a nail with a candle which I'll show the colors when I do it because if I go through everything I'll take too long I was thinking of a Santa face kind of like this like that'd be tan a pink nose a line for the mouth and two dots for the eyes in black a red hat with white trimming. Oh, and then this wouldn't be tan. I'm sorry. This would be all white like it's his beard. Um, the skin behind him would be tan. Like, it's, like, this is his beard, his hat. All this is tan. It's eye, eye, quick mouth, and a pink nose. And maybe pink on the cheeks. I don't know. Um, that's what that... This was, uh, Holly. Like, the two... The two, uh, I mean, the three... <coughs> excuse me. The three berries with the green leaves. <coughs> and by the way, I'm still getting over my colds. <coughs> <coughs> so I apologize, but I want to get this video up. Next, what I was thinking is like a pale blue background with pretty um, pale blue, I mean pale pink ballet slippers because I don't want to do the nutcracker. That would be way too hard. So um, I don't want to do the nutcracker. But there's lots of wonderful Christmas ballets out that it'd be something that you guys could wear if you go to see one of these ballets if you, if, and you know if you don't want to be um, cheesy cheesy and use red and green colors you could do a pale blue with some pink ballet slippers for being at the ballet um, a simple candy cane which I might do because it should be simple because I do want some nails that are simple um, something with Christmas ornaments and stockings and then this would be like, again, I, this is why I want it like a light blue color. Um, I might mix some white, that pearlescent white I have, with light blue and use the pearlescent, because it's a pearlescent color. I think it would look really pretty as icicles. So that black is supposed to be just spikes for icicles. And then the bl I'll put blue underneath. Um, so that was stuff I was thinking about Christmas, just because, um, you see, uh, people like, you know, how the lights look like the Christmas lights look on the icicles on the roof and how they have the little icicle lights you can put on your tree so the icicles um, really incorporated well with Christmas you could also use icicle nails for winter so out of all those Christmas ones give me two of your favorites so you have one Thanksgiving one so far or a suggestion that people can vote on and then two Christmas ones now lastly is the winter nails I want you to pick two more um, from the winter ideas that I have. Um, I'm still trying to figure out some of it, but I was thinking of something simple, doing like a, um, a black background with some nice blue, um, like, just simple stars for the night sky, because you have, like, little town of Bethlehem and the star, you know, with the star in the sky that the uh, three kings followed and stuff like that. Um, and the fact that, like, at night time, certain constellations are out, um, in the winter, or people, like, at night time, you know, it just kind of represents night time. In winter, it's darker, with the really pretty sky, and the sky, you know, the, the stars are out, and it's just, I thought that would be nice. Um, this one I don't know how I'm gonna do yet, but it's one I kind of like the idea of, and just a little snowman on, with some snow. What I was thinking about doing is doing some of the nails, with snow and having like your thumb because it's the biggest canvas making that the one that has the um, snowman on it 
And then you have a snowflake. Um, this is just a rough idea of a snowflake. I was also trying this idea as a snowflake, which I got off, off the, some of the ideas offline. Um, a snowman. <coughs> and then you have um, a hat and gloves. So if you want, you can do like alternate hat and gloves on your nails. Um, and then this is just like a warm cup of coffee or more like for me hot chocolate in winter time a cu hot cup um hot chocolate and if you guys are like coffee addicts and you like you love your warm coffee especially in the winter time you can do it on your nails or do it like as a accent nail just do one like little cup of coffee or you can make you have the hat and mittens and the cup of coffee and have like a little winter design going on your nails so that's my thanksgiving christmas and winter ideas <coughs> so just let me know what you guys <coughs> sorry ah. Let me know which one's your favorite, and that's the one I'll be sure to work on. And then I'll try to work on the other ones as well that I think I can do. And if I can't do it, I'll probably just take it off the tester and scratch it off and try a new one. Um, but I'll try to do the ones you guys want the best I can. Um, so yeah, I just want to make a video telling you about updating you on my other, um, why well, I haven't shown you my Paul Mitchell stuff yet, and um, my nail ideas. I want you guys to vote on them. And give me, it. I'm welcome to more ideas as well. If you don't like the Christmas or the winter ones, or if you have a better idea you want to add to it, I'm more than happy to uh, listen. So, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I cannot wait to hear from you guys and have all your friends come here and visit so we can get a whole bunch of comments together. Um, not so much for my channel, just to build comments on this video so I have ideas for you guys and if I don't use them all now it'll be something I can practice so that next year I'm better at it so talk to you guys later bye